Welcome to the Western Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within a week at strivescan.com slash WACAC. And now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. And up first is um, Columbia College Chicago. Awesome, thanks Matt. And huge shout out to WACAC and Strivescan for having us and all of these wonderful presentations that are occurring concurrently today. So if your time permits, please check out all the other great sessions. Uh, today, I'm fortunate to be joined by uh, a lot of my, my admirable colleagues at other institutions, but there's one thing we all have in common this afternoon, and that is the arts. And so we're going to start off in the Windy City with Columbia College Chicago. Um, you are welcome to screenshot or take pictures of any of this information in my presentation, uh, but let me start off with an introduction. Hello, my name is Marty. I'm the Assistant Director of Regional Admissions with Columbia College Chicago. My pronouns are he, him, and his. And a fun fact about me, I am a drummer. So Columbia College Chicago, we are a school located entirely in downtown Chicago. Um, so I like to make the distinction that we're not affiliated with any other Columbias and our only campus is located in downtown Chicago. Uh, Columbia's educational purpose is to focus exclusively on the creative arts, but we are unabashedly a liberal arts institution. So all of our students do have a well-rounded educational experience and all of our students are required to study some level of business. So what do students experience at Columbia? And I like to frame this as I think why students choose a school like Columbia. And first and foremost, the city of Chicago. Uh, Chicago, uh, we are, are uh, we just celebrated rather our 188th birthday uh, and Chicago remains the third largest city in the United States. And so I think with that comes a lot of real world applications, but also a very robust and very real art scene in, in and out uh, throughout our city. Um, secondly, collaboration with difference. Um, we have students coming from all 50 states, over 60 countries, and so just being around other people who maybe have different experiences or different values than you uh, is a part of the collaborative process that students experience at Columbia. Uh, suffice it to say, hands-on learning and creating. Uh, we want students having their you know, creative ambitions realized in their first semester. So you can start right away as a Columbia student. And then of course, countless opportunities uh, for networking and career preparation. And I think this also goes back to Chicago being a great scene for those opportunities. So we have around 6,000 students. Um, the programs you'll see in the, the right frame focus on uh, media arts, visual arts, performing arts, music and sound arts, the communication and the writing arts, and of course, the business and the management programs that support the creative industries. Uh, so 99% of our students are currently receiving aid. Um, this past year, over 60% of our incoming students self-identified as students of color, and around a quarter identified self-identified as first-generation students. So again, having a collaborative experience with people uh, from all different experiences and all different walks of life is the hallmark of a Columbia education. On the next slide, you'll see some uh, additional information on uh, a good sampling of our programs, but um, again, I like to just kind of acknowledge that we do all art all the time. All of our programs are focused uh, for students who are interested in producing and or supporting creative work. Uh, you'll see we have lots of different degree offerings, uh, BA, which is an acronym for Bachelor of Arts, BFA, your Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees, uh, and BMUSE, which is a Bachelor of Music degree. So um, just some information on, on the programs. Um, if you're curious, I think this year uh, we're seeing probably our, our most popular majors, uh, including theater, film and television, fashion, journalism, and business programs, specifically music business, fashion business, and film business. Uh, so if any of that perks your interest, you know, that's kind of, uh, I think, what we're attracted uh, for students from the, the west side of the United States. So last but not least, how do you get to Columbia? We have uh, presence on the Common application. We also have our own app. 
Uh, so either one of them is totally cool. Uh, we offer uh, or provide rather a holistic and enrolling admission process. We are still accepting applications for fall 2021, so September admission. Um, and we have always been test optional. Uh, and I, I wanna say here, we are working really quickly to become a test-free institution uh, that aligns more with our mission as an institution. So um, auditions and portfolios will vary by major. Uh, and obviously if you have any questions about that process, just give me a shout. But the good news is for all students who apply uh, and who are admitted to the institution, if you submit an audition or a portfolio, you'll be considered for what we consider talent-based scholarships. Uh, the FAFSA is encouraged for all students. That will, of course, help us maximize all of your scholarship and financial aid possibilities. And if you have any more questions um, or want to see these application requirements, you'll see it at column.edu slash apply. And here, once again, is my contact info. Please, please, please give me a shout if you have any questions. I'd be happy to be your point of support for you. And if any of you counselors are joining us this afternoon, uh, please let me know if I may virtually visit or, or hopefully sooner than later visit you in person. Uh, I want to stop there and just say thank you for your time. Thanks for spending some time with us today. My colleagues, it's great to see you. I miss seeing you in person. Please, please, please stay well, stay healthy, be good to yourselves, and be good to each other always. Thanks again. Great. Thank you so much, Marty. And next up is Cornish College of the Arts. Hey, everybody, just getting my screen up here. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sharon Starling. I'm the Director of Admission at Cornish College of the Arts. Cornish is a really interesting college located in Seattle, Washington. We have just eight majors, and they all focus on the visual and the performing arts. And I like to start with the mission. It really informs everything about how we do our work. And the mission of Cornish College of the Arts is to provide students aspiring to become practicing artists with an educational program of the highest possible quality in an environment that nurtures creativity and intellectual curiosity while preparing them to contribute to society as artists, citizens, and innovators. Cornish realizes this mission by offering baccalaureate studies in the visual and the performing arts, and by serving as a focal point for public presentation, artistic criticism, participation, and discussion of the arts. We offer the Bachelor of Fine Arts and the Bachelor of Music degrees. Um, you can see the majors listed there. We also have a new pathway for transfer students. So if you possess an associate's degree, or you wanna think about maybe doing a, two years of an associate's degree and then transferring, we have new pathways for a BA degree in art, dance, music, theater, and film. I always like to just share a, a little visual aid. All of my colleagues are going to speak about degrees like this today. And I think when you see the letters BA, it's showing you a very um, balanced type of degree where half the credits are in the major, the other half are in the general liberal arts. This works really well for our students who might do two years of community college and then transfer. Um, the BFA though, or the Bachelor of Music, B, this is a deep dive. Day one, you're six to eight hours a day in the studio, making art, practicing, rehearsing. And this type of degree spreads the liberal arts courses out. You might only do one or two academic classes at a time. Everything else will be studio-based in the arts. It's a really different way of doing college. It's different than high school. It's different than a BA program. And for the student who can really declare their major right away, this is a great way to dive deep on day one. Cornish is over 100 years old, founded in 1914 by a young woman named Nellie Centennial Cornish. Um, as a pianist and a musician, she started the Cornish School of Music, but had a much bigger, uh, much bigger idea of um, a school or a center where all of the arts would come together, where they would collaborate, where students would learn from working professionals, and where always they would be trying the new and the innovative. Um, people that have spent time at Cornish include um, Merce Cunningham, who's one of our graduates in the dance department, really the father of modern dance. Um, faculty members John Cage, Mark Toby, Imogene Cunningham, William Ivey, um, all spent time at Cornish early in their formative years. Oh, and don't forget Martha Grant. Our students focus on traditional, interdisciplinary, and experimental art forms. And our arts are centered and degreed on 
skills that are designed to build what artists need. We educate our artists to build skills in critical thinking, creative problem solving, and the generation of new work. Our faculty are working artists and committed mentors, maintaining thriving careers in the, their respective fields, as well as connections to their peer artists. They're very committed to the generation, the 21st century artists, this new generation that's emerging. They do not teach at Cornish because it's an ego trip for them, or they are hoping that you are going to really, um, you know, bow down to them. They are they are there because they value the work that the next generation is doing, and they want to be part of that education. Our urban campus is immersed in the arts and culture of Seattle. This is one of the world's epicenters for the visual and performing arts, making it an ideal city to pursue, pursue your artistic education. Seattle's ranked number four in live um, music and art scene in the U.S. and um, world-class music, uh, interactive, Pioneer Square, uh, so much going on, and an amazing program called Teen Fix that allows students under 20 to view all of this for just $5. Our urban campus is located in the South Lake Union neighborhood, um, surrounded by creative agencies, architecture, uh, galleries. We're within walking distance of all the major spaces and you'll find Cornish faculty and alumni and students making bold and innovative work all over town. Students have access to a variety of creative and performing spaces. Um, Performing artists are rehearsing and performing and learning in a wide array of spaces, including practice rooms, black box theater, historic concert hall, and the iconic Cornish Playhouse. Cornish educates students from all 50 states and 18 countries. Many live in the Cornish Commons, our state-of-the-art residence hall. Built with artists in mind, this living learning community features 16 floors of living space, including rooms that with a shared bathroom, they have practice rooms, movement studios, art making space, and then the um, 20th floor amenity deck where you can see the best views in Seattle. Application requirements include um, an application. We are on the Common app as well. Uh, transcripts, personal statement, letter of recommendation, test scores have always been optional. And then the, the audition or the portfolio review, uh, a requirement for all applicants. Oftentimes, this is the scary part for students. They, it makes your palms sweat. It makes you feel anxious. What I would encourage you is to note that we're looking for a benchmark. We're looking for a match and a fit, and we have admission counselors ready to help you with that process. Dates and deadlines. We are on rolling admission right now. We did a tuition reset in 2020, and we're the first art college and the first college on the West Coast to lower tuition 20%. Uh, all students get 95% of our students have scholarships. Um, everybody who is admitted is considered. I see the slide on. There's Cornish. Screenshot. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sharon. And next up is Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. Hey, everyone. All right. Hello and welcome. My name is Juliet, and I'll be here telling you about Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design, also known as REMCAD, uh, pronounced R-E-M-C-A-D. So these slides are filled with lots of student examples of artwork from our college, and also you should be able to get some of the gist and the vibe. I plan to answer some overarching questions. So we are the premier art and design college that's located in the Mountain West re region, uh, just west of downtown Denver in Colorado. REMCAD campus was um, is beautiful and it's rich with history. Established in 1963, our student body was founded on something more than academic excellence. Creative minds take root here for the relentless support, innovation in both teaching and mentoring and operational excellence. Students come to REMCAD for an education, but they certainly stay for the creative community of like-minded people. So much so that REMCAD Renew is a popular return on the original investment. It's a program where our alumni could come back to take classes in their original degree in order to continue to stay updated with the ever-changing changes in technology. That's right, I said free. So here you see the list of REMCAD's Bachelor's of Fine Art degree programs. We also have a Master's of Arts. 
And you, you'll see everything from teaching from drawing and bringing your uh, drawings to life and animation to capturing moments to make a photograph. Um, also to create immersive sculptures to walk through and fine arts. We are accredited by a number of accrediting bodies who hold us to a high uh, standard of academic excellence. NASAD stands for the National Association of Schools of Art and Design. And I do want to mention we are a third of the cost of some of the other institutions that have the same accrediting body. You can find the details about the tuition and other uh, areas of pertinent information on remcad.edu. Our tuition is running at about 20,000 per year, depending on the modality online or on campus. So feel free to screen grab or capture this QR code if you would like to simply request information. However, you can fast track to uh, filling out an application online if you are within a year of when you would expect to start college. You don't have to pay any fees right now and you won't have to submit a portfolio when you submit this uh, application online. Because at REMCAD, we do require a portfolio for admissions filled with your own original artwork. And I will say that REMCAD does recognize students are in the learning process of their academic and artistic career, so do not put too much pressure on yourself. Your admissions counselor will set you up for success during what we call an admissions interview. So within a year of your expected start date, REMCAD requires an admissions interview with a guardian. And this is when we will learn about your artistic aspirations. You will learn about REMCAD programs. You will meet your program chair and other resourceful individuals like the financial aid team. And you'll learn about your housing options too. So if it's a good fit, details about the portfolio requirements are then discussed as well as the statement of, of intent. So why REMCAD? Well, small classes, small class sizes, studio classes with hands-on instruction and classes designed to teach you the skills of immersive 3D and 2D storytelling um, of art and design are some of the reasons why. We help individuals help refine and develop their artistic and technical skills, voice and vision. Incoming students may choose an emphasis of certain programs. For instance, in illustration, learners can emphasize in concept design or children's book in illustration or learn sequential art. Think of the illustrations that you follow when you are putting something together that is sequential art. Also, our degree sequence is unique. It's designed for creatives to spend more time in la on less projects by taking two classes every eight weeks and still graduate on time. Another future feature are professional practices classes are taught throughout to prepare our graduates with to enter the workforce and niche industries with solid portfolios and marketing skills, communication skills as well. Student accessibility services are available in an effort to promote wellness in the community as we all know that mental health is at a premium right now I wanted to mention that. Also students gain access to being taught by real artists, designers and liberal arts professionals who have lived and worked in their respective industries. Artists are lifelong learners and make some of the best teachers. For instance, you see a quote by Paul Tranny, one of our alumni, he works at Adobe in California now. He's a teacher and he promotes the Adobe software programs. And he is quoted out here on the hustle and the importance of building a solid portfolio and being taught by experts. You could go to remcad.edu to see where other alumni are working. Some are working for Pixar, Google, ESPN, North Face, Apple, and more. And then I just wanted to mention, in addition to the fun studio classes, the studio art hands-on classes, we do have a liberal arts and uh, humanities classes taught that will help with the breadth and depth of the creative thinking and the understanding of the world around uh, the student. And so that'll all intersect with the creative work. For instance, this instructor here, he teaches a uh, liberal arts. He's also a creative writer. And one of his poems got picked up by Oprah recently. So it's all about, you know, what does the artist want to say? Do they have something to say? And so it's about uh, REMCAD will help you refine and um, help you develop your voice. Number of personal benefits, and I really do like to emphasize that creating art does increase the dopamine production in our brain. So that means less anxiety and less depression. So even if you aren't going into the arts, keep practicing, make your art. Sometimes you might find that uh, you don't have resources and that's a benefit of really, you know, being involved with a college or an institution, um, not only for the resources, but also the ability to network in the industry. They say over 84% of the uh, jobs obtained in and uh, creative industry are obtained from networking. So uh, I encourage you guys to 
check out remcad.edu. You guys can RSVP for our open house on uh, April 1st. And you can also review some scholarship opportunities, some you automatically qualify for, others you apply for. And here's that screen again. So please feel free to grab this screenshot. And I wanna thank you so much for your attention. My email is there. And I hope, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck and happy Sunday. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Juliet. And next up is FIDM. Hello everyone, I'm Cecile Fay and I represent FITM. I am excited to be here to share with you the FITM experience with my colleague Brittany Klein who will be posting FITM links in the chat box. What makes FITM so unique is that we are both WASC and NASAT accredited. We are a private college in Los Angeles and we offer specialized associate of arts, bachelor's and an MBA that lead to careers in fashion design, interior design, the graphic and digital arts, as well as entertainment industries. These are a $400 billion industry and California being the fifth largest economy in the world, um, you're going to find that the jobs are here in California. So when you think about entertainment to technology, when you think about street style, action, sportswear, design and lifestyle, California is home to some of the most creative and entrepreneurial thinkers in the world. Um, Brittany will be sharing this link with you to show you what it's like to attend FITM and how FITM educates its students to be the next generation of creative and globally relevant professionals. I'm going to share my website with you so that you have a better understanding of what the process is and what we offer at FITM. FITM offers over 30 majors in AA, Associate of Arts, Bachelor's Degrees, and an MBA program. Anything from apparel industry and the fashion design to uh, business, which could be beauty marketing, it could be social media marketing. We have a two-time Emmy-winning journalist, Tom Hinsikian, who's a department chair for that. We also have menswear and the business of denim, which is street style, action sportswear. Uh, of course, California being the home of street style. We also offer a very creative uh, major called visual communications for those of you that love to style, that love window displays, store displays, event planning. So we have very specialized areas of design. Ext uh, we have also extended uh, stud advanced studies in costume and TV and film with notable grads like Mona May who just celebrated the 25th anniversary of Clueless where she launched her career. Mass Singer, again, the costume designer of FITM alumna. I'm a FITM graduate, my, ma my major was interior design and I specialized in illumination. I'm happy to share with you that what you learn in the classroom is the business of design and the design of business. In the orange ribbon of our website, you'll see a tab for admissions. The admissions process is very clear. We encourage you to meet with our admissions advisor so that we can create a unique personalized pathway for you. No two students are alike who come to FITM and we want to uh, create the pathway so that you can reach your career dream job. Our recommendation is to think about your interests and your hobbies and do that and uh, follow that and pursue that as a career. How cool would it be to design and create your own uh, major for your career? If you're going to do it as a hobby, if you're going to you know, do those interests as a hobby and love to do them, it's always rewarding to be able to have a career with that. So we have the application process, financial aid, we have FAFSA, grants, loans, uh, unique scholarships for our students. 
And we also are um, a military friendly school. So we are a yellow ribbon school and we help military families when they transition back into civilian life. We have information for international students, high school students, college students who have a four year degree that want to specialize in advanced study or a community college student who wants to pursue their bachelor's degree can transfer into FIDM as a junior for their bachelor's degree. And yes, juniors, you can apply early as well. The application process would be incorporate a portfolio, one for business, one for design, because we are a NASAT school, um, which is the uh, National Association for Schools of Art and Design. And this is where the admissions advisor becomes key. We want you to stay inspired. It's so important how this past year we have advanced 10 years in our world. So there are new economies, new technologies, new business models. And you'll find that our online events are there designed from the industry to inspire you, uh, to let you know how the world's changing, the direction it's moving toward, and how FIDM educates and prepares students to meet the needs, the global needs of these industries. I want to let you know that on Saturday, March the 10th, and we have a virtual open house. The link will be put in the chat box. Please join us for more specific information on majors, application, and industry professionals that will be speaking. We also have a Transfer Tuesday on March 23rd that I'd love to invite you to where you can speak to someone in admissions to talk about the careers, the scholarships, and a portfolio that is needed for application. Students, the world is going to open up and I'm excited to share with you that FITM does offer a broad study programs, both short term and long term. We offer housing uh, by our Los Angeles campus and it's more of an adult living. It's an apartment with two bedrooms that you share with four students, a living room, a dining room, um, a kitchen, and of course, we also also encourage careers and part-time jobs. So this is where in student life you will find more information about our career center which is really quite stellar. In our career center you're going to learn about career opportunities, internships with industries. We have over a thousand new leads every month for our students, job search assistants, and these are just some of the, the uh, vetted interns that we, internships that we have with industry professionals. These are the industries that teach your curriculum. These are the industries that hire our students. So students from day one, it's the, it's the connection with partnerships from the industry as well as your education that sets you apart, whether it's a two-year or four-year program. We have success of some of our alum that have graduated, what they're doing, where they're working. And finally, I would like to leave you with uh, the final link, which is our lookbook. In our lookbook, it'll give you an idea of what it's like to be a student at FIDM, to learn about the project-based curriculum that we offer our students, internship partnerships, the career center. And as I mentioned earlier, because FIDM is located right in the heart of downtown Los Angeles, we like to say that the city of Los Angeles is an extension to the classroom experience for our student. So this book is really a visual understanding, a comprehension, take a look. And um, there's a URL form that I'm putting into the chat box for you to request information to be included in those special in, um, opportunities. And really quick, I wanna mention a scholarship that's available for high school and college students. It's a, in addition to the other grants and scholarships that we offer, this exclusive scholarship is called a Fashion Club Scholarship where the president can earn $10,000 up to four years upon acceptance to FITM. Uh, for their degree and then every member, active member will receive a $5,000 scholarship. If you're interested in learning more about Fashion Club or any of the other scholarships or to schedule an appointment with admissions, feel free to fill out the URL card. My name and phone number is on the link as well. And I thank you for joining me and I look forward to hopefully meeting with you soon. Great, thank you so much. And our next presentation is from Savannah College of Art and Design. All right, hey guys, um, I'm just gonna pull up my presentation real quick here. So um, my name is Susie Remuda. I am an assistant director of admission at SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, I'm actually based in Denver, Colorado. We are literally in the midst of a blizzard. Um, I think we have about a foot of snow on the ground right now. Last time I saw it was like 10 inches. I think it's a little more still snowing um, and windy. So fingers crossed, I don't lose power during my presentation. That would not be fun. So um, to talk about somewhere a little bit warmer. 
SCAD was founded in Savannah, Georgia in 1978. Um, we've actually grown quite a bit since then. We now have a campus location in Atlanta, Georgia. We have a study abroad location in Lacoste, France. We still have our location in Savannah, Georgia. Instead of just that one building you saw, we now actually have about 84 buildings in the downtown historic Savannah district. And we have two online learning programs as well. One of the online programs is kind of go at your own pace. You don't meet for class time. The second online program is kind is not kind of, it is meeting in real time on Zoom, um, just like we're doing right now. So a couple of different options to study SCAD from afar if you want to do that. We are one of the newer art and design schools, but actually the largest in the nation at this time. So we have approximately 15,000 students currently enrolled at SCAD. Students are coming from all 50 states. And we have a 25% international student um, body percentage. So about a quarter of our students are coming from another country and coming to study at SCAD. We are also super large and diverse in terms of the amount of major programs that we offer. So we currently have about um, 43 major programs at SCAD and over 75 minor options. These major programs are in a number of different areas, but pretty much like three, I guess like umbrella categories is what I would say. So we have art, we have design, and we have business. Within the arts, uh, major programs, obviously, like painting, fashion, jewelry, performing arts, photography. We have sequential art as well, which is art in a sequence that's comic books. We also have a number of design related degrees. So industrial design, architecture, interior design, service design. Um, I'm missing a bunch of interactive design and game development. So that would be video game design. And then I mentioned business, which not everyone always associates an art and design school with business courses or business majors and minors. Um, we definitely focus on that as well. Career preparation is a huge part of what we do at SCAD. So we understand having knowledge in business, especially if you are looking to work in the industry or maybe have your own business. Um, we think that's important. So we teach branded entertainment, the business of beauty and fragrance, advertising, social strategy and management, design management. There are a number of different um, business related degree programs too. So I mentioned how important career preparation is at SCAD. We have a 99% job placement rate, but what that is, I wanna go into more detail. Within 10 months of graduation, 99% of our graduates report being employed, seeking a higher degree, like a master's level degree, or both at one time. Of that 99%, 91% report that they are employed in a creative field. So their major program, or something closely related. These are great stats, um, good numbers. One of the ways that I think we, um, we get to this number, this 99%, is through how collaborative we are. So our students definitely from different major programs will work together. Oftentimes our professors will join two classes together um, if it's relevant for both classes for both major programs. So. What's really cool about this, not just as you learn, but these people are going to become, I mean, your best network of people when you graduate and you're looking for a job, all of your peers are going into similar industries to you. So an example of this recently, Christopher John Rogers graduated from SCAD with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Fashion. He now has his own clothing label um, called Christopher John Rogers, but it's a number of SCAD uh, graduates and his friends that actually work for him. So David Rivera from Dramatic Writing is working on client relations for Christopher. Julia Wheatley from Industrial Design works with Christopher. Um, Alexandra Tyson actually manages the studio. So that's just kind of one of those examples of the networking opportunities that come out of SCAD. Um, if you're interested in fashion, please check out Christopher John Rogers designs. You might already know him. He has designed for Lizzo, Rihanna, Michelle Obama, and most recently we saw him at the presidential um, inauguration. Kamala Harris was actually wearing a Christopher John Rogers dress, that beautiful purple dress and the coat as well. Her husband was in his designs too. Um, another totally different example of a graduate, Andrew Siebert from UX Design, User Experience Design, now works at Google, 
as a UX designer, and he's doing a lot of augmented reality work for Google. So um, there's a number of ways to get involved with career um, opportunities before you graduate from SCAD. We're going to help you with internships. There are things called SCAD Pro projects, which are when companies come to SCAD looking for SCAD student work. We actually make that into a class for you. There's summer program opportunities at SCAD as well. So please come check us out as a high school student. See if you like it. Um, take some courses to help build your portfolio. I'll be real quick here. Application process is um, super simple. For attending this event, if you guys wanna come to me for a fee waiver, please do. Um, I'm about to post my contact information. You apply online through SCAD as soon as your application has been processed. We actually pair you with the person that comes after me, an assigned admission advisor. That person becomes your financial advisor and they work with you through the rest of the process. So we'll talk scholarships. If you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, um, just reach out via email. I would absolutely love to work with you. Thanks so much for your time and you all stay safe and healthy. Great, thank you so much to all of our presenters. Um, unfortunately, our final um, institution of this session, Otis College um, Art and Design, uh, was not able to join us. So um, I do apologize for that. Um, but now we have some time for Q&A. So please do put your questions into the Q&A feature for our panelists. Um, hey, Matt, um, it looks like Otis is here. And... Oh, I see that. Yeah. All right, well, let's... let's uh... Hold on one moment and we'll turn it over to Otis shortly. My apologies, I did not see that. Uh, we're, we're getting Otis College here uh, joining as a panelist right now and I will turn it over to, to Otis College. Hello, thank you. I spent the entire presentation as an attendee, so I really enjoyed everybody's presentations. And I was there going, I'm here, I'm here. So thank you for letting me in. I am very happy to talk about Otis College very shortly today. Um, and a lot of the things that other schools have mentioned are present at Otis. And there are also a lot of things that are a little bit unique to the school. So I'm excited to talk about all of them. Otis College of Art and Design is in Los Angeles. So FITM is also in LA. There's a school that has a similar location. We've been in LA since 1918. I have been working at Otis since 2019. My name is Marie Claire McAdar and I'm the admissions outreach counselor at Otis. But the school has been around for much longer than I have. We've been in Los Angeles since 1918. And because we've been around that long, we've created very strong programs and we also have extremely strong um, relationships with all of the industries that our majors relate to. So I've kept it on this slide for a second because this is a visual that has been our theme for the year that was made by a current Otis student, um, a current international student actually. And if you fill out the form that I will put into the chat shortly after finishing presenting, you can actually request to get some view books for you or your students and you will get more information about Otis. The cover of the view book is actually a poster that turns into this illustration. So it's pretty cool. To get started talking about Otis itself, like I said, we are located in Los Angeles and we are on the west side. So downtown is a little bit more on the east side of LA, but we're on the west side. So we're about a mile from the beach, which is great when our students need a break, they can just go to the beach, get some waves, relax. And our campus itself is in the neighborhood of Westchester, which is a very nice and quiet part of Los Angeles. If you've ever been to LA in the mental map, it's near the airport. So that's the part of LA that we're in. And this is our campus. It's nice and condensed. It's small, but I can say having attended a larger college, it doesn't feel small. It feels very comfortable. And I loved knowing that as a new employee, I wouldn't be lost for more than one day because I was able to understand where everything was quite quickly. We do have dorms on campus right here and we also have dorms in this apartment complex across the street. So students do not have mandatory housing. They have the choice to live on campus and they have two different choices between campus housing options. We have this actual icon for another school that's nearby because we have a relationship and a partnership with Loyola Marymount University. That means that Otis students can take dozens of different classes for free that we might not offer, including foreign language, science classes we might not offer, mathematics, dance, music, theater, those classes are all available to Otis students for free at Loyola Marymount and Loyola Marymount students can take classes at Otis for free as well. Los Angeles itself has all of these amazing things to offer as a city that you can go to school in. 
But most importantly, there are almost 800,000 creative jobs just in Los Angeles itself. That's one of the reasons our alumni have a great job of great opportunity to get jobs after school. And it also helps me feel more comfortable helping students go into studying art and design because those jobs are available. That's one city and one state in the entire world. And that's a pretty big number. So there's no need for the stereotype of artists and designers can't get jobs. We do have seven different majors at Otis. They all graduate the same kind of degree, which is a Bachelor of Fine Arts. So pardon that I don't remember which school, but one of the schools had two bars that kind of showed the breakdown of classes. If you look down here in yellow, we have the Bachelor of Fine Arts breakdown. So about 65% of your time will be spent in art and design studio classes making things, and 35% of your time as a student would be spent in academic classes. This breakdown works for our students because those academic classes are rigorous. They're actually made to break down the sort of colonized curriculums that we've been taught for a long time. So every class is analyzing forms of oppression, structures that have been created, and they're all very discussion-based and interesting to our students. As for the seven majors, we do have, like I said, design and art majors, and I will highlight a few of the most unique ones. Fashion design is an extremely strong major that's industry oriented. So mentors actually come into the school and teach our students as juniors and seniors how to make a full fashion line that's shown at the end of the year. Most students are actually getting jobs from that experience. We have the only toy design bachelor of fine arts on planet earth. So that actually means that those students have extremely high rates of job placement. And there are 25 different toy companies based in LA. It's just like Mattel, Gensler, all the big ones. So those students have opportunities to get up to two different internships while they're in school. As you can see, the rest of the majors have these orange titles beneath them. And what those are are areas of emphasis. So to break down the education at Otis, when you apply to Otis, you do not apply to a specific major. There was a question in the Q&A if animation students would have to put in supplemental items. That does not happen at Otis because no matter what major you're interested in, everyone applies to the school as a whole. Portfolios do not need to be major specific because we do require portfolios, but students get to spend their first year in a foundation program with no major. Then they take an elective in the major they're most interested and start their major very prepared as sophomores. So when you start your major sophomore year in any of the ones here that have an area of emphasis, you would take one class that covers all the areas because we also know that students who have that experience have more job placement success. And then you would choose your area of emphasis, say animation and digital media, and you would do animation classes for the rest of your time at Otis. So it's another way that students get an even more diversified education at Otis while they're there and then really get to focus in on what they're most interested in. We also have 19 different minors. I will not go over all of them because we'd be here until tomorrow and that would not be good. Creative writing, I will highlight because it's a very popular major for anybody interested in storytelling. We have entrepreneurship so that our students can actually start making a business while they're in school with all the support from faculty, staff, and the career services. And all the way at the bottom, if students want to major in fine arts, they can actually become a credentialed art teacher in California much faster by minoring in teacher credential preparation. So with all of the things I've said, it's good to get a job, but there's 93.5% of students at Otis are actually getting jobs within one year, and that is only full-time and part-time. There's no internships included in that, and 94% of them are working in art and design fields. I'll finish it up real fast so we have time for questions. This is some examples of where they work. Look at it quickly, but then this is the most important part. All of the how to apply and everything I'll put into the chat, but we still are accepting um, applications for this year. Scholarships are just based on your app, so there's no extra scholarship application, but this page shows that we have many ways for students to connect with us virtually during this time. All different ways. Everyone in the admissions office is really happy to talk to students, and students can actually talk to current Otis students as well. I'll be putting all of those links into the chat. Thank you for fitting me in, even though you didn't know I was here. I very much appreciate everyone's time. Great, thank you so much. Uh, and we are just about out of time for this session. Um, if you have any last minute uh, Q&A for the panelists, please do put them in the Q&A um, and they can follow up later with you. But um, again, this session is just about up. So I wanna say thank you for joining us. Um, when uh, you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate your feedback. 
Um, also, this is just one of several sessions happening as part of this college fair. So please do sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, um, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the others from this college fair at strivescan.com slash WACAC. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your days. Thank you.